All right, let's talk to Barry here because uh, 59 degrees, which is <laughs> what month are just we that in? doesn't happen in July, <laughs> does it, Barry? It's crazy. It's more. It's crazier when it was 59 degrees this afternoon. Perhaps not as crazy 59 at night, but 59 in the afternoon. Come on, what's going on here? Felt more like October this afternoon as that cool air came down from the Canadian Maritimes. The dew points dropped, so it certainly was not nearly as oppressive in terms of the mugginess and the sticky weather we had around here just a little while ago. It was hot today in Hartford, about 90 there, and from there down to New York City and southwestward, most of the nation was in the 90s today. There were a few exceptions, but most of the country was really hot. We've had eight days in Boston so far this season, which in where it's reached or exceeded 90 degrees. We may have one or two more by the end of next week. We'll see how that all works out. It's a ways off. But in the meantime, we've got some cool stuff to deal with. There you have that 59-degree reading right now. Here's where it's warm and humid all off to the southwest, really muggy in there. But we're relatively comfortable. Even though there's a little damp feel to the air, it's not the sticky weather that we had 24 or more hours ago. And there's where it is. It's from New York City south with pure tropical air. Some of that is going to come back here. So the dew points is slowly going to creep up to 60 tomorrow afternoon to 65 on Saturday afternoon, bordering on the un uncomfort zone here, uncomfortable zone extending into next week. Most of those days will be humid. So this time around, we're not getting a shot of really nice dry air like we had several days ago. And the muggy air is around and a few more scattered showers in central Massachusetts, Southbridge heading toward Worcester. That's all we have right now. There may be a few more scattered around overnight tonight. And there may be a few scattered showers during tomorrow. Watch the timestamp. At any time, it could rain a little bit, but there's not going to be any downpours and we will not have at least long-lasting downpours that would produce two to four inches of rain, much like we had yesterday. Another batch may come through later tomorrow night into Saturday morning. We'll start out damp again, wet, dreary, dismal on Saturday morning. It may brighten up a little bit better on Saturday afternoon, just a tad, to allow a few more showers to form. So you see the unsettled weather goes through Saturday thanks to this frontal zone, which is sort of strung out across the area. But this will sort of disappear, and the drier air will take over, and it will be warmer here on Sunday. So highs tomorrow around 66 in Boston to the upper 60s in some of the western suburbs. So we'll be tying the record for the lowest high temperature ever in Boston for July 14th, and there will be a new record in Worcester. Now, as far as the Fenway forecast, yeah, the Yankees are here along with the Red Sox for a four-game set, and there may be a couple of showers tomorrow night. It'll be mostly cloudy Saturday night. It'll be warm and nice on Sunday afternoon for that game around 83 degrees, and clearly the best day in the Cape Cod this weekend will be Sunday when most of the sunshine appears. There's not going to be too much tomorrow or Saturday. If you're going up to the mountains, you will see about the same thing. Lots of clouds, lots of showers. And the best day clearly will be on Sunday. So here's my forecast for the next seven days. There it is. It's a cool Friday, but it slowly warms up, and we're back to summer starting Sunday through all of next week. Should be a much nicer week for vacation than this week was. Back to you.